How would you feel if you were missing a tooth? It might affect the way you smile. It might also affect the way you speak. But it will certainly affect what you eat. Tooth loss is a serious drop in the quality of our lives. There are 700 million people on Earth who are missing all their teeth, and there are 3 billion others who are missing at least one tooth. However, modern science has given us a miracle that we can use to replace missing teeth, and it's the dental implant. It's a three-piece Lego made of a screw, a supporting structure called an abutment, and a crown, which looks like the tooth. And they all fit in together. It's a miracle because it can survive in the dirtiest place in our body, our mouth, which has millions of bacteria. And these bacteria can cause an infection around the implants called periimplantitis. A recent study has found that over half of the implants placed in the world can develop this infection. And it all starts around the middle Lego piece, the abutment. If we compare the natural tooth to an implant, the natural tooth has a very tight bond and a good relationship with the surrounding gums, the tissue in the mouth. However, on the other hand, the implant, the gums just lie close to it. There is no attachment, there is no such relationship. There is actually a passage that bacteria in the mouth can use to pass through and attack the underlying bone, create infections, and eat the jawbone away, and eventually result in losing the implant. And that is where my research project comes in. We have developed a coating, a material, using nanotechnology that can be placed on the abutments and help them improve their bond and relationship with the surrounding gums. My job is to look at cell-to-cell -cell attachment and cell-to-material behavior under the microscope. We have also tested it with actual human subjects, and we have found amazing positive results. That means implants can survive for a longer time, and eventually we will improve the quality of life of 3 billion people in the world. Thank you.